I hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to a brand new video, one that I've not filmed in, I'm gonna say in ages, because I'm pretty sure I have done a Shein haul before in the past. In fact, I definitely have. But yeah, at least not for a very, very long time. I was browsing um, when I was first looking for like some autumn foliage. Um, to do my decorate for autumn video with me, which I've now since done. And then just as I was um, browsing, I got an email from the team who wanted to very kindly work with me on today's video. So I've selected some bits from the website. We've got some autumn touches, a lot of clothing. If you've not heard of Shein before, it's an online website with loads of homeware bits, fashion bits, so many autumn cozy bits to choose from at the moment. So well worth a look if you, like me, love shopping in autumn and winter and it's like my favorite season. So um, yeah, I thought I would share with you the finds that I have uh, got my hands on. Before I do, I did just want to mention that they have a show on tonight. It's all on their socials and everything. So I'll leave them linked below, but it's the Shein uh, Rock the Runway. I think it's 10 p.m. tonight. So all the information will be in the description box below. But without further ado, let's jump straight into sharing with you the goodies that I got my hands on. So I will get around to sharing with you all of the fashion bits. I'll try them all on actually. There might be a little bit crease some of them because this is fresh out the bag. I'm looking at everything laid down there. There's a lot. Fresh out the bag. This literally arrived this morning, this parcel. So I've not tried anything on. Bit of a first impressions. But before I do do the trans, I thought I'd share with you the kind of like home miscellaneous bits that I picked up. Firstly, this cushion cover. Look at this, how cute is this? Farm fresh pumpkins, pick your own, open daily. It's, I think this one was 50 by 50 centimeters, like a standard square cushion. They had a more of a bolster shaped one as well. These are literally a couple of pounds. They're so affordable. Um, I think it's two pound 20, two pound 25, something like that. All of these items, this is what I love about Shein, all affordable price points. So a lot of the, fashion bits that you'll see in this video. I'll leave everything linked below so that if, if there is anything that you wanna find out specifics for, you can um, click the link. But all of the fashion items I think range from five or six pounds up to about 15, maybe 20 pounds. So yeah, really reasonable. But anyway, this is the first item that I got. This is what I mean when I say miscellaneous. I picked up, this is so random, but I've been wanting one of these for the longest time. Since I started running with Barney, I did a park run once and he was just such a good little running buddy. Barney's my golden retriever puppy, if you're new to my channel. Um, yeah, I started running with him and yeah, he's just a perfect little running buddy. But I thought I would pick myself up one of these leads that you can attach to your waist. Most of the time I go off lead running so he can just run around and do his own thing. But if it is an organized run like a park run or if I'm running on the road, then obviously we need him strapped in. So yeah, this is just one of these leads that wraps around my waist and then ties onto him and it's expandable so that it's like not an impact. You know, if he stops and I'm carrying on. Regardless, I've wanted one of these for a while. So yeah, pick that up. I saw this, I think this one was three pounds from memory. This is like a little, first aid kit just a little bag just says like travel it basically is just a handy little pouch that you can either take traveling with you i'm thinking just popping this in the cupboard for some excess first aid supplies like plasters or something or medication i don't know if it's going to involve a building process which i haven't got time for now i don't think it will though basically a shoe box i thought i would get one for now just to see the size of it and see if it stacks where i'm hoping it will and if it does fit, then I will purchase some more of these because I feel like they're gonna be so handy. I'm sure you can get the gist of what it is. It's clear on the sides, but then it's a beige color. And then that's the little lid that goes on top. So yeah, the fact that they're stackable is just really practical. Another handy travel bag that I picked up, this time um, for like if I was going to Go abroad, go traveling, there's a little aeroplane on there. I love the color of this. It's one of these kind of foldable ones whereby you can pop your products in here. That's basically your toiletry bag. But then it also has a couple of other compartments and it folds and it hangs up. So, you know, if you're getting ready in a hotel space with not much like worktop or something, 
you can find somewhere to hang it and have everything to hand. And then last but not least for the random bits before we move on to the fashion, a couple more storage solutions. I've got this zippable bag, which is like for an underbed storage type situation. I've got a lot of storage boxes with this kind of linen canvas fabric. It literally looks like linen, can you see? And this one has a mesh front as well, which is really practical for being able to see what's inside within a wardrobe, maybe at the bottom for accessories. I actually have shelves on my wardrobes at the top, so that would slot in there nicely for maybe, yeah, I'm gonna put that in there, for caps and scarves and things like that for autumn, winter. Right, fashion finds. Be prepared for autumn because there's a lot of coziness, checked patterns, stripe pattern, wool blends. Let's jump in. The first item is, this is definitely the most expensive because I remember this one was 29 pounds, which was at least 10 pounds more than anything else that I got. So this is my um, nice spending purchase and it is a gorgeous shacket. I love the color of it. It's in a large, because I do like my shackets a bit more oversized. It's got these pockets on the front and a collar, which I just think is such a staple in anyone's autumn winter wardrobe or more so autumn because winter is a bit too cold um to just have a simple jacket like this i think is so practical especially for someone like me who goes out and about on like a lot of walks i feel like these are quite nice laid up when it gets really cold with a hoodie underneath as well i'm a sort of a uk size 10 ish um I mean, what's a UK size 10 nowadays? Because some shops I'm a large, some I'm a small, some I'm a 10, some I'm a 14, so who knows what I am, but yeah. This is what the first item looks like. Right, let's go on to some cozy knitwear. Probably one too many striped jumpers, striped knit jumpers, but I wanted to show you the variety. So this is the first one, large, this one. Okay, so yeah, this is definitely, I would say size up in this if you prefer a more oversized fix. I wouldn't actually say that this is oversized. My t-shirt's gonna be a bit long for it, how funny. Okay, so I would wear this maybe just on its own. Ignore the fact that I have a t-shirt on underneath. And also maybe with jeans tucked in. I really like the collar of it actually. Look how big and wide the collar is. I feel like I need to get rid of this t-shirt underneath. Well, you, you get the idea, you get the idea. Um, I feel like I might as well show you all of the striped jumpers side by side so that you can compare. I love this one. This one of the two is my favorite so far with the fabric, the color, and this one feels a little bit thicker. Still nice and thin, so good for transitional, but it also feels like a better, um, it's not as tight. This is in a large as well. Yeah, this one's definitely more me. I don't know why, I just prefer like a boxier fit. It's just, but then again, I'm talking for like with leggings. So obviously that other one would have been good for with jeans. But yeah, this one, I love this one. This one's my favorite. This one's far more white. Can you see this one's more of like a stone, creamier kind of color, nice long sleeves as well. I feel like I'm doing a comparison for you guys on striped jumpers. Oh, I was a bit worried it wasn't gonna go over my neck then without ruining my makeup actually it's quite stretchy on the neck so yeah this is the next one it is tighter around the bottom actually that's unusual so i feel like you could have it again this one sort of more tucked into something rather than with leggings Ooh, i just love cozy season anyone else relate to me so that last one was in a large as is this one i feel like i've got them all in a large whoa this one's so much more oversized is it large or an extra large? Oh yeah, sorry, this is an extra large. That's why it feels a bit bigger. I, yeah, I prefer this. It is a little bit big on the sleeves and it does obviously look quite oversized, but I just really like that more relaxed style. This one's quite similar to the second stripe jumper I tried on with this zip, like half zip detail here, which could be done all the way up um, when it's really cold or just left hand on a bit and it is a little bit longer actually can you see like on the bottom if you just wanted to wear this one with leggings i would say this one is the best for wearing with leggings if you're a legging kind of person like i am then this one is my favorite what's this i see checked and i'm just like drawn to it this time of the year 
So this is in an extra large and it is a kind of like brown and cream proper autumn shirt this one is it's like a flannel kind of material i mean i am doing this one up but i actually feel like i might wear it more so um undone as like a layer on top of maybe leggings because it's nice and long with like a little white vest you know like my h&m ribbed vest that i live in i love the length of it the fabric is so nice and soft it's that perfect flannel material for um being warm but not being too overwhelmingly like thick and hot i just feel like i need to nip out and get a pumpkin spice latte right now with my uggs on i need to put my more ultra mini uggs on i've just found something which i didn't show you in the homeware bits this was i think this was one pound from memory one pound one pound fifty and it's one of these net bags i just thought this would be so good to have in the kitchen hung up or maybe even in the utility room basically by a door whether it be a back door front door as you're running out to hang this, have this hung, and then there's a little zipper at the bottom which opens up and you can have your like curry bags stored in here and just pull one out and grab and go. Love that, right. Um, anyway, back to trying on clothes. I saw this and it reminded me of the Aline Bing kind of sweatshirts, you know, like how she has like the Paris, the LA. So I feel like this is a definite dupe for that. So this one just says Los Angeles. California and it's in that rich kind of chocolate brown perfect for this time of the year and this again I got in an XL so let's try it on oh I love this if I keep telling you it's because I'm looking in the mirror here nice and long on the sleeves again there's nothing worse when you want a cozy jumper when you've got sleeves that end here mm -mm. they've got to be over my hands so that I can hold my hot cozy drink and have my hands covered with my jumper. So this is a corduroy shirt. So a bit different to the flannel one before, but still just as soft or a different kind of soft. If you know corduroy, it's like a, well, cord. <laughs> it's more of a muted kind of brown, this one, like a mushroom, I would call it. So let's try this one. It's got tortoiseshell buttons as well. I'm already loving the look of the size of this. Again, I was a bit worried that with shirts because I like them so size it's worried they're gonna to be too small. Yeah, extra large again in this one. Okay, this one's definitely more of, oh my God, I love this one. I don't know why I'm shocked. I just, I don't know. I feel like, cause when you shop online, it can be hard when you're buying different materials like corduroy. I was like, mm, I don't think I own anything corduroy. And it's arrived and I am so happy with it. You could wear it maybe a bit more off shoulder, a bit more relaxed fit, open with a little white basic on underneath. You can always as well like do, undo the bottom, look at me telling you how to dress. You can always undo the bottom and just do a little half tuck like that maybe if you wanted to show that a bit of your figure. <laughs> Another Anina Bing style dupe item. I also got this hoodie which has like the American, oops. Bit of tissue in there. New York, USA, and this one's a zippable one, which I, I like. It's definitely a darker chocolate brown, this one. And it's in a large. So this is what the zipper hoodie looks like. It's a bit thicker, this one, a bit more um, of a like substantial material than the others have been. So if you're looking for more cozy and thick and comfy, then I would say this one is good. It's got like a fleecy, liner as well so i feel like it'd be really really warm this one's such a different fabric this is actually like a heart it's not a proper shirt that does all the way up it is in a extra large i need to sneeze kind of like a forest green color and also if you can see i'll show you up close like a waffle texture okay again with this one i probably would have it tucked into jeans because it is a little bit shorter but having said that, I think it's a really nice fabric. Again, really nice long sleeves with this one, which I love. Just a good, just a good basic. We all love a good basic. And how nice is this color? I'm really into greens. I feel like I've been into greens for a while now, but this kind of khaki green kind of color, I feel like it suits most skin tones and hair colors. I am a fan. Okay, and then what's this one? Okay, this is a, I remember this was like reminding me of, I think it was one on H&M uh, that I nearly got. Thinner ribbed knit top with this bit of a 
square neckline here. Okay, this is what this top looks like. I love it. It's definitely a bit out of my comfort zone with the uh, tighter sleeves. This is in a large and it's one of those necklines as well that my bra strap kind of came there. So you'd have to wear like a, I have just touched them in, but maybe a strapless bra with this one or go braless. But yeah, this is the fit of a large on me. I quite like this slit detail. It just adds something a little bit different, doesn't it? So yeah, I think I would wear this with high-waisted jeans and heels for like a cooler evening, going for like cocktails with friends maybe if you just want something a bit more fitted. The last item that I have to share with you, yet again, ribbed and knit. I told you there was lots of coziness within this haul. This one is just a simple crop. I actually think this colour is going to wash me out. I feel like, oh, what is it? I'll try it on, but I don't know if this is the colour for me. I think they had lots of other colours available though, but it's just a little v-neck, basic ribbed crop. Okay, this top is, it's in a large, um, and yeah, it's very cropped, this one. So this is to be one of those tops that if you have a bit of a drift on show, you've got to be okay with that. Um, I thought, I, what did I see? I saw someone on Instagram style a pair of leggings with a long sleeve, really like crop top like this and then a gilet over the top and I just really like the look of it it's kind of like running errands walking the dog whatever it may be but just kind of like a bit cooler so yeah I just thought it'd be a good basic to have to be honest with you and I love the ribbing to it but yeah that is everything that I picked up from Shein. Thank you so much to Shein for working with me on today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. And if you do want me to do future Shein hauls, then by all means, let me know. And um, because it is one of those places that I could just spend all day browsing and I feel like my eyes could do the shopping for you. Don't forget to tune in tonight to the Rock the Runway at 10 p.m. I will link all their socials down below along with links to all of these items mentioned in today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, subscribe for more, and I will hope to see you all very, very soon in my next video.